Welcome. It's May, so I've got April favorites here. Got lots to talk about today. I've got everything from podcasts and series and um, uh, perfume. It's not really quite perfume to pencils and slicers. I mean, I've got it all. Okay, so let's start. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the lipstick I'm wearing today. You know, I did a, um, a video about the Estee Lauder lipsticks. Well, I've been wearing this one a lot. It's called Powerful, and it's what I've got on today. It's a really pretty pink, uh, and I, I'm really enjoying wearing it. So it's not too bright, and it's not too dull. It's just right. So I just wanted to re, you know, revisit these lipsticks. Really good. And you know, I always get, I always get my lip print print around it. And it's not that I'm a slob, but there's some way that I put on lipstick that makes me get lipstick all over the case. And then I'm always wiping it off. I didn't right now. Okay, lipstick. Um, something else. I found a really pretty blush that works so well with Powerful. And that is, it's by Selma, is it Selena Gomez? And it's called, it, her line of makeup is called Rare Beauty. And I love this color. It's called, it's called Nearly Rose, and it is the prettiest rose color. It's not real bright. I put it on, well, I've got it on. I put it on with a, a damp beauty blender. You know, I wash the, I rinse, I put water, I soak the beauty blender, and then I squeeze it all out and just gently tap here and put it on my face. It is such a pretty color, nearly rose. I, I So this is really pretty, and it goes with both, you know, look, isn't that pretty? I love it. Yes. So, uh, Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez. Let's see what else. Then, you know, I've been talking about uh, Moroccan oil shampoo. Well, I bought this um, body souffle by Moroccan oil, and it's got argan oil with squalene. And you're going to say, why did I buy it? It smells so good. I think I th it, it's just got this wonderful, what do you call this smell? I've got to think about it for a minute. Um, I love it. And it goes on so easily. I've almost used it up. It is so, it's body souffle and treat yourself. It is lovely. I love this. And it's so easy to put on. You know, sometimes it's a drag putting body lotion on because it gets wet and it doesn't soak in and you blah, blah, blah. and so I think ah, I won't I won't put any uh, body uh, lotion on but this sinks right into your skin right away let's see if they talk about any of the scents that they've got because I love it it's like a it, uh, like a woody vanilla. Maybe that's the best description. Woody vanilla. In fact, I like it so much. I bought the um, fragrance mist and it's for hair and body. This doesn't last long, but when it, let's see, in a spicy, let's see, experience, it's, oh, it's not spicy. It says spray. I think I need glasses again. Um, do they say what? I love the smell. love it it's not you know what it's not sweet as i say it's kind of a it's kind of a, a vanilla woody scent i love it so i got this even though it may not stay on long when i get the whiff of it i love it uh, speaking of moroccan oil you know what i've been doing to get my hair more moisturized in fact i went to get my hair cut the other day and my um the stylist said my hair has been better than he's ever seen it. And I think it's because, you know, I've been really taking ca good care of it. I uh, Even today, I didn't wash my hair. I used dry shampoo. And I used, what else did I use? I put some spray on so that, you know, to protect it from heat. Um, the other day, I think, I think my hair is incredibly dry because it's not only gray, but I just think it's incredibly dry. And so the other day, and this was of my own thoughts, I used both 
a conditioner and you're going to laugh. Remember, somebody said, not somebody, a lot of you said to um, uh, put a marking pen on this with an S. What does that stand for? Shampoo. Good for you. So I have my S on here for shampoo. And then I've got the C for conditioner. So I used a conditioner in the shower. And, you know, this one is extra volume conditioner. I thought I was using, oh, I know why. The one in the shower is for, is um, a moisturizer. This was a different one, but it's also got a C on it. Anyway, I took this off of a, of a tray. Anyway, I put on my moisturizing conditioner, rinsed it out, and then I put on this hydrating mask. Now I'm, uh, well, you can see I use it. Then I, so I use both a conditioner and a hydrating mask. And, and then when I, I'm getting my hair, you know, to, to um, style it, I put in a leave-in conditioner. And I'm going to try some more leave-in conditioners. But, I mean, I'm really putting moisturizer into my hair. Now, your hair may not be as bad as mine, but mine is really, really dry. I don't know if it's age. I don't know if it's operations. I don't know if it's the various treatments I've had to have. Whatever it is, my hair is dry. So I'll let, I'll let you know on the continuing saga of my dry hair. But it did do better with conditioner and um, a hydrating mask. I'm going to get another product from um, Moroccan Oil that's uh, super duper hydrating. So I'm going to get that and try that hair. Okay. Then, let's see, I've spoken about that and that. So, keeping with the hair thing, there's, there are these brushes, and I think I got the wrong one. There's one that's kind of gold-colored, covered, but the name is fabulous. It's Olivia Garden. Get it? Olivia Garden. These are great blowout brushes. And in fact, it's ceramic and ion. Uh, what else does it say? Nothing. It, it really works very, very well when you're drying your hair. And they have a, a set where it's this size, which I think is, a, is an inch, not sure, can't remember. But they also have a whole set, which is um, uh, an inch and then it goes to, maybe it's not, this isn't an inch, this has gotta be two inches or an inch and a half, something like that. But they have like five brushes of varying uh, diameters. So I'm going to give this to my daughter, my granddaughter, and I'm going to get the, the set that has different sizes so that, you know, I need something really small to get, you know, to tighten right here. And I need big for up here. And let's say I need medium here. So one brush can't do it all, at least for me. Um, and the color of the brushes that I'm going to buy are kind of gold, so I'll let you know, but these, the other thing, I was at, I was getting my hair cut the other day and I suddenly spied this brush a, a, along with the um, other brushes that my hairdresser had. And he said, you know, I was, I saw other hairdressers using this and he said, so I went to give it a try. These are great. He really likes these brushes also. So. I love these brushes. So the blowout professor and my and my own stylist and other people really like these Olivia Garden um, blowout brushes. Um, okay, let's see what else. Oh, a couple of things. Um, people have asked me about books, and I know I've met. I think I've mentioned a long time ago when I didn't have as many um, followers about Jacqueline Winspear. Have you read her series? It's really good. And she, she writes a detective series, and her detective is a woman, and the first in the series is Maisie Dobbs. And I think she's got, well, she, I think she's written 17 books by now. But start with the first one, Maisie Dobbs. It, you know, it won all sorts of awards. And I can't remember what they were, but the New York Times and all these all these people who give awards gave her awards for Maisie Dobbs, and it's she, it's it was written by Jacqueline Winspear, and ja and it's set all in Britain, and where does Jacqueline live? Up in Northern California. Talk about being a good writer and getting the whole 
milieu of um, London. It's really good and start with Maisie Dobbs. I've read how many? I think I read seven or eight and then I kind of went someplace else. I don't know where, but you know, reading something else. If you've already read Maisie Dobbs, have you? Um, then I highly, oh wait, what's the name of it? Um, you can see that I do this off, off the cuff. Uh, Rebecca by, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Rebecca, who wrote it? Oh, see what happens to me? I didn't write it down. Rebecca by, well, anyway, start with Maisie Dobbs and then we'll go to Rebecca by, huh? And the thing is, just look up Rebecca as a book and it'll come up. Okay. Oh, a wonderful, a wonderful, you see, I have to write it down because I can't remember these things. Um, a wonderful YouTube channel is Sip and Feast. And it's this, um, uh, well, actually, he's a father and he, he, he's got the best recipes and they're not complicated. They're not, they're not anything, it, they're what everybody can do. I made a fettuccine Alfredo using his recipe and it was fabulous, fabulous, so good. I can't wait to make it again. Really, really good. So sip and feast. And the cute thing that he does is he has his um, taster come and taste everything he makes. And his taster is around nine or 10 years old. It's his son. And he asks his son, well, what do you think of this? He also asks his wife. So it's really fun. And they all grade the, the, the food. So it's a, it's a fun thing. And it's really, I get so hungry when I watch his show. So sip and feast. Uh, let's see who else. I just bought these knives. These are by Vitrionics. Is it Vitria? Vi very vi Victorinox. 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 Okay. I've been using these black ones for years and it just makes things so easy to cut. Well, we need some, we need, we needed some new ones and suddenly I saw them and they had them in colors and I thought, what fun. So I just got, what were they? I think I got another four or another six, but I thought, well, isn't it fun? So they've got them in red and blue and black and I just thought it would be fun and boy, are they sharp. So this morning I was making um, medallions of oranges for my husband. Uh, that's when you cut off all the uh, rind and you just cut them in, in, in slices. That's because he had a problem with his tooth, so it was hard to um, bite into um, a whole orange. But anyway, so I, these are great knives. So they're, I guess they're called utility knives, but we use them for steaks. I use them for chicken. I use them for anything you want to cut. I mean, you can cut a tomato skin off. It's great. Love these Vic Victorin, Victorinox, Victorinox knives. Okay, Amazon. Um, what else? So I've been, and you're going to say, why do you have so many food things on? You know, it all started with COVID when we had to kick, cook three meals every day at home. And the, then when COVID was over, there used to be a restaurant that it was um, Ed's Coffee Shop. And my husband and I used to go there all the time and my girlfriend all the time. And it, it really was a coffee shop. And it was in the decorating district on Robertson in LA. And it's where all the decorators went. You always saw friends, you always saw decorators. And it was so low key. Um, it, it, was a, it was started by Ed and then when he, then his mother, then his, wife took it over when he passed away and then his daughter took it over and we just everybody knew everybody we knew all the waiters we just and the food was the food was just kind of down home cooking well the daughter closed the restaurant it turns out that everybody wanted sushi and everybody wanted you know pizza and sushi and it just they the people weren't coming there like they used to so I've been cooking, I'm still cooking three meals a day. So I'm trying to find things that give me pleasure when I cook. So one of them is having a new, new pretty knives. Another thing is I had this mandolin and it was plastic and I'd had it for years, but I never could figure out 
does this make it go higher? Does this make it thicker? Does this go lower? Does this... And I like using mandolins. The other day I was having the best time slicing celery. I mean, so if, if this can, if you can be happy slicing celery, I say, you know, get, so this is a mandolin, but it's only, it's one that you use by hand. So it's by OXO, so you know that it's good. And it's got the, the let's see, one, one, two, three. So you just, you move this and it raises it. You don't move that. Do you move the other side? I just did it the other day. Wait a second. Here you go. This, this controls how thick or how thin the slices are. I love this. I love slicing celery now. What else did I slice with it? I, uh, I, I was slicing ginger, celery, onions. It's so much fun to have everything the same size. These are the things that give me pleasure, guys. So uh, this is OXO, Amazon, and I love it. I'm even going to get a bigger one, I think. It, it, it gives me joy, what can I tell you? Oh, and look, so it's got this, so that you don't, you know, that you don't um, shave your, your fingers off. And it works, see? Put it on top. It doesn't work on tomatoes because I think the tomatoes are too soft. So it's more like onions, things that have more, um, more, that are tougher, like onions and celery and stuff like that. So that, I love this stuff. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, um, now a movie that I saw the other day is so good and so funny. Uh, it's called Game Night, and it's with Jason Bateman. Anything he does, I'll watch. Do you remember seeing him at Ozark? Well, that was more serious, but I love Jason Bateman. So Game Night on Netflix is a real treat. Oh, something else that's on Netflix, and it's a series, and it's called The Diplomat, and it's with Kerry Russell, and it's very much like West Room, West Room, without it being West Room, but some of the alumni of West Room are on this. It's got snappy dialogue. It's, it's yeah, snappy dialogue, fresh view of, um, a fresh take on diplomats and on government. Watch The Diplomat with Carrie Russell on Netflix. That's a joy. And the other thing is, uh, I just discovered this yesterday, and while I was driving, and it's a podcast by with Julie Lewis Dreyfus, and you know who she is, right? She's from. Uh, uh, I don't remember the name of the show of that either, but Julie Lewis Dreyfus, and she has a podcast, and it's um, called Wiser Than Me. And what she's done is she interviews women you know, kind of famous women who are older than she is. And I was listening to the one with Ruth Reichel. She interviews Carol Burnett, uh, Jane Fonda. Uh, it's older women and it's excellent. Ooh, the other thing that I've got, see these blue tops? You know, when I use a microwave, I always was putting um, a white plate on everything. And I got, I don't know, I got tired of white plates. And then I saw this advertised on Amazon. And you put these, these silicone tops on things. And it's great. It's not a plate. You can't break it. Easy, you know, all sorts of sizes. So I love these, love these. Uh, let's see, what else have I got here? Um, oh, I make eggs. Because I make egg salad, I make egg salad. And, but I never quite know if it's, if the eggs are done or not. So I saw this and it's so cute. It, it changes color. It, it goes from soft, soft boiled, medium and hard. So you put this in the pan with water and your eggs at the same time and it changes color so that it, when it's white here, that means it's soft. When it's white there, medium, that's, that's, what it turns white and with hard I couldn't believe it it works so again you know these things make me smile so this is my my um, my uh, what do they call this it's called the noble egg timer pro it's cute it's fun oh you know something else so I went I'm I'm always futzing around about 
eye, you know, pencils for um, eyeliner. And I went to, remember that day that I, I went to Neiman Marcus because I'd gone to a doctor up the street. And so I went to Neiman Marcus and I said, what is, you know, the best um, eyeliner pencil? And they said, Lancome. So I got two Lancome pencils. I'm using very little eyeliner these days. Can you see? Just a little bit right in the base of my eyelashes because I, it's a new look. We'll talk about it on another video. But um, so I bought these Lancome and they seem to work. I got one in, this is called Purple Cabaret Metallic, and this is French Chocolate Latte Mate. The only thing I'm not happy with is I, I need to use uh, our pencil sharpeners. So they gave me this one by Chanel, and that one works, but I have so many pencil sharpeners that don't work. Um, you know, when as an artist, I've, I had fabulous pencil sharpeners. I wonder if they'd work with this. I'll try. Anyway, um, these have worked so far, and you might want to look into Lancome. I think that's it. So these are my goodies, and it's they're really fun, and I've been very happy with them. Anyway, have a good week. Good seeing you. I'll see you next week. Oh, I forgot. Um, you know, I still, I, I never get it right. Maybe I shouldn't even mention it. Uh, you know, about subscribing and hitting the like button. I mean, what good does it do if I, if I never, I never remember it. Anyway, have a good week.